th that's fair. Okay, let's try a thing that I had never thought of until what you just said. Um, what if we reverse it? So right now we probably have, um, I don't know if there's official regulations, but there's probably things that are legally frowned upon. Like if a farmer figured out a way to cut off the legs of cows and basically just um, cut their legs off, heal them up, like, so, like cauterize their wounds, but then just have them sitting on a shelf and the cow is alive and it feels miserable because it's not walking around and they're just uh, like pumping stuff into it that fattens it up and then they're going to slaughter them and then everything is the same except they're cutting their legs off and they're going to be so much more miserable than they already are. So if, if instead of looking at the changes that can be made to make their welfare better until we can have a vegan future, just imagine um, if we had steps in the way that we don't have now. So if this were the case and you could fight for veganism, but also try to convince people to put a law in place saying you can't cut off their legs and have them sitting on a shelf. Wouldn't that be good to try to get that law to make it to where farmers at least have to let cows have legs and walk around? I mean, uh, it would be definitely less bad for the cow uh, mm -hmm. to still have the legs, but I wouldn't uh, fight for it. I would fight for total liberation because what? still, if still if we don't cut off the, the legs of the cow, we are still using the cow somehow we're still uh, taking profit of it uh, uh we are still seeing the animal as property and this is not okay okay so yeah what if it was humans then what if, what if humans what what if we still had slavery and mm -hmm. and people started cutting off the slave legs. I don't see any benefit for that uh, maybe these slaves are going to eat so they want their legs cut off and they put them on a shelf you, you wouldn't fight for having their, like making it illegal to cut their legs off in the meantime and until we can free slaves? Uh, no. <laughs> I would fight for their liberation uh, as much as I can. And that's what all of these vegan activists and all of uh, vegans are not high, high profile uh, activists are doing. We are fighting for total animal liberation because we need to it's not that we need to make the conditions of the animals better is that we need to change our mindset and not even consider uh grabbing these animals and taking uh, take advantage of them okay well what if we could put brains into these um these animals to make them be able to talk and we ask them we want to let every cow on every farm get to vote do you want vegans to um, vote for changes and and advocate for changes to make it illegal to cut our legs off? And let's say 99% of the cows said, yes, please, vegans, vote to not have my legs cut off. Would you stand against these cows and say, no, my moral position to focus on total liberation matters more than you individuals. I'm doing this for the future of cows in the world, the future, but you current living cows, uh, I'm not going to fight for your legs to be um, not cut off. I think if uh, animals were able to like communicate with us, they will probably uh, form like a syndicate in their own farm and just uh, get out of there or something, but I I don't think that the idea of making the conditions better uh, will help the the animal somehow. I mean, we're we're making them lives, uh, let's say, a little comfortable or mm -hmm. less bad, if that's even possible to to have in a farm. But again, we are taking advantage of them. We shouldn't. You, no. You're right. It, it's hard to imagine how it can be possible to make lives more or less bad. Like I would hate to be a slave, to be in a cow's position. Um, I, I might even prefer death to it, but if I'm forced to be alive and I have no freedoms and I'm stuck in this area and instead of eating what I'm naturally supposed to eat, I'm force fed soy meal and cornmeal and whatever, and I'm being pumped full of hormones or whatever. If I experience this life and I had the option to either have my legs cut off or not cut off, 
I want my fucking legs. Mm -hmm. And I would want the people that could, could advocate, not just say these ba baby steps are good, but we also want more to advocate for a law to make them not cut my legs off. And also at the same time, advocate for total liberation. I advocate for um, things involving abortion and circumcision and legalizing drugs and animal stuff. I can advocate for a lot of things at once, but if it's coming down to when I talk to people on the street, I want to talk to as many as I can about veganism and full on total liberation, but also I can spend some time, um, signing petitions or when, um, it's time to vote, vote to not cut legs off. I can do all of it. Now we have to figure out how to divide our time, of course, but we also have to figure out what's going to be the overall best thing for the animals. Like if, if sacrificing fighting for total liberation, um, for 10 minutes a day to focus on individual issues, like ending fur or ending sea world, um, if, if, if you truly are convinced that sacrificing that whatever amount of time to not work on both will be harmful, then I guess you got to go with it. But if you imagine yourself being on a farm and you are the cow and your legs are removed. Now, I don't want to put human ideas on the animals. Maybe cows don't like their legs as much as I do, but I, I want people to fight for my legs.